Hello guys, welcome to Study IQ. My name is Amit Saini and I welcome you in this daily PIB analysis video. In the morning, these videos uh, come about uh, uh, the Hindu paper analysis and evening the PIB videos come and PDF you will get on the Telegram channel and on my Facebook uh, group that I have given on the last page. So 24th of April it is and please do not miss these lessons because uh, they are covering a very important part of current affairs. I am taking questions uh, for, from whole uh, uh, year's data and uh, we are covering the latest portion also. So this is about the PIB and other important current affairs sources. Now these are the uh, numbers where you can call and you can ask for these pen drive courses by Study IQ. Extremely important courses and this uh, website address is given and you can check, you can uh, mail us and any kind of confusion is there, you can ask your doubts. Now Minister of Corporate Affairs, you see IEPF, it's an authority. It's an authority, it's a statutory body actually under this Ministry of Corporate Affairs. And because it's a statutory authority means it is established under this Companies Act of 2013. And main aim is promoting investors' education, awareness and protection. You see in the corporate affairs, uh, many, many investments, they are based on trust. Sometimes there are some issues and uh, the cases are going towards the tribunals and all. Money is stuck and uh, people are not educated. They Maybe they are not aware about newer rules and all. So this body helps all these investors. So uh, right now, a, a very important information that IPEF, uh, IEPF authority in a major success recovers 1514 uh, crore rupees of depositors money. So it was from a private company in the uh, NCR region. And you see the size of IEPF fund has almost doubled within one year with accumulated corpus of about 4000 crore rupees, 138 crore rupees. And uh, companies have also transferred about 65.02 crore valuing 21. 23214 crore rupees means uh, uh, the companies they are bound under its rules and nobody can create a mess there and regarding all these frauds and all this awares uh, these uh, investors so that's important and secretary of ministry of corporate affairs that is a civil servant is a chairperson of the authority so remember remember that these kind of uh, datas are always ask in UPSC that it is coming under which uh, ministry and it's whether it's a statutory body a constitutional body or just established as a society so it's a statutory authority IEPF authority and it was also established in the same year when IBC was established in 2016 and under the Companies Act 2013 and refund investors education distribution reimbursement of legal expenses and all these are the focused areas and you can see here IEPF body next first global aviation summit that held in mumbai on 15th and 16th january two day summit it was organized by uh, union ministry of civil aviation that's correct airport authority of india in association with fiki so they organized it it was one of the most important uh, summit it was the first global aviation summit so all these bodies like iaea and all they were here and icao uh, so these uh, important uh, uh, international bodies uh, they participated here and it happened in Mumbai so first is wrong second it is correct okay the theme was flying for all and especially the next six billion because they were discussing the future plans India also uh, said that uh, we are gonna add a thousand more of uh, planes in our international fleet and the regional connectivity scheme is going on domestically our aviation industry is progressing with a 20 20 percent uh, pace so that's a really great achievement but you see many problems also we are observing in the same industry as jet airways is down air india is going through a lot of troubles first kingfisher uh, that uh, grounded so all these issues are there in the same industry but this is a global aviation summit this may be asked this year because a lot of things are going on in the aviation sector so it happened in Mumbai next first all festival so all festival means uh, it's for conservation for sure it was organized in Maharashtra's Pune district in Pingori village and uh, many students and all they participated here and it was an exhibitions of artworks and they were sent by students and all and ila foundation it's an ngo working towards nature education and conservation so it organized it and the main problem with all is that uh, people attach many many superstitions with the bird it's a very specific and very beautiful bird and it has uh, unique capacities like it can see uh, very clearly in very dark night and uh, it is almost blind in the daytime 
and there are 262 species of owls that are found in the world and 75 are in the red data book so they are nearly extinct okay and uh, that's why the need for the conservation is certainly there and in india their numbers are diminishing with a very fast pace main issue is of the uh, habitat uh, destruction that is the main reason you can see they are sitting in the uh, trees uh, hole and these uh, trees uh, they are very less in number these days so superstitions and the habitat loss these two major reasons are there and you see actually they may be uh, superstitious about the bird but actually this bird helps farmers and uh, the rats and all all these uh, uh, creatures they create a mess and they are very harmful for the crops so this bird eats these rats and other creatures so it is actually helping the farmers so that's why it's very very important and upsc focuses on these kind of conservation issues a lot next abhinav bindra was the person who was given this blue cross a very important honor by international shooting sport federation issf he got the award in olympics in 2008 and uh, seven commonwealth games award uh, he has got and he has got uh, arjuna award rajiv gandhi khel ratan award and padma bhushan also in 2009 so very important personality and uh, this blue cross is the highest laurel for shooters given by the issf that's important next kimberley process you must have heard about uh, kimberley mines and all and uh, uh, they are very very famous for diamonds and other important uh, metals but uh, diamond is uh, uh, most precious among all and uh, this process is related to diamond there is a word diamond council is there and uh, you must have heard about the blood diamond movie that was inspired from the same incident the rough trade uh, this was a name of the report which was regarding the conflict diamonds what are conflict diamonds in the war torn areas where uh, these uh, all kinds of uh, political troubles are going on wars are there terror groups are there and their financing is done by these diamonds which are found in african nations so africa is a land where uh, we find many diamonds so these diamonds uh, which are used in this terror financing they should not come in the mainstream market diamond market so for that there is a certification scheme kpcs it was started in 2003 and uh, united nations general assembly it uh, established this certification scheme following the Fowler report. So they may ask you, Fowler report is related to what? So it is related to conflict diamonds and this certification scheme. And uh, you see, this year, European Union handed over the chairmanship of KPCS to India from 1st January 2019. In 2018, India was having the vice chair and this year, India is the chairman. Okay. In Brussels, Belgium, this meeting happened and uh, this was the plenary meeting for KPCS so they may ask you about KPCS they may ask you about Kimberley process related to diamonds and you can see there are 54 participants India joined in 2003 in the same way when it was established and other important countries are also there next India co-hosted the first global conference on the sustainable blue economy no India did not co-host uh, actually Japan and Canada they co-hosted the first global conference on sustainable blue economy you see the blue economy it is related to oceans and these uh, aquatic animals and all the important issues uh, attached with the oceans oceans are a great sink for carbon dioxide and all the dirt of this world and these are the most important constraint of the environment and the atmosphere so this uh, was happened this was held in Nairobi and Kenya is the uh, country and Nairobi is the capital and uh, in November 18 this happened India endorses the growth of the blue economy in a sustainable inclusive and people centered manner through the framework of IORA very importantly it is correct this year IORA is very important India Indian uh, external affairs ministry that has opened a uh, uh, Indo-Pacific wing especially and the Quad group and ASEAN group and all these things would be uh, they are very very important this year this, this year's prelims so read everything about iora i have discussed many many questions regarding that india and south africa proposed iora and uh, second is correct first is wrong because india did not host it okay you can see uh, organized by kenya and co-hosted by japan and canada iora there was a, a un ocean conference in 2017 and the call to action was given there an important role of private sector was also held here and you see Fikki took a lead in 1617 by establishing a task force to develop a business model on India's engagement in the blue economy sector 
so remember they may ask you about what is the blue economy all about next benny at anthony he has got this uh, important award intellectual national intellectual property award ip is a very important thing nationally and internationally many many issues are there and these are trademark design all all these issues related to intellectual property world intellectual property organization is there and uh, Ben Anthony has got this award from WIPO also and from NIPA for NIPA also National Intellectual Property Award. And uh, you see, BCM95 he has invented this for sure, but it's not a vaccine. It's a turmeric extraction process. Haldi turmeric extraction process. So only one is the correct answer. Second is wrong. You can see BCM95 words leading patented turmeric extraction formulation and WPIO medal for inventors that was also given to him. And April 26 is that award IP day uh, when this award would be given to him. Okay, next Swachhata Pakwada. It was started in 2016 and especially in the government departments and all. And uh, for 15 days they are celebrating Swachhata uh, Abhyan and uh, all the, the things related to hygiene and all they are taken care of. And this year, All India Radio and Children's Film Society of India and Publication Division of the Government, these three are given this award collectively. And in this question, D would be the answer B and C. Ministry of Drinking Water and Sanitation, it is the ministry that is taking care about Swachh Bharat Abhiyan. Next, uh, you can see here All India Radio, Publication Division, and Children's Film Society of India, they are given this award. Press Council of India, PIB, and Basel, these are also uh, mentioned uh, in this award ceremony okay now about the bidder information management management system this was there in the annual report of ministry of uh, national highways and transport so it is related to national highways bidder information you see uh, these uh, hybrid uh, ppp models are there epc model is also there engineering procurement and construction so this model is totally funded by the government so issues of funding issues of leasing issues of bidding they are important and regarding that these all apps systems are developed you see bims is a system and uh, added to it the bhumi rashi portal that was also announced and these both are linked to pfms public finance management system this pfms is actually taking care of all the finances related to all these schemes and all okay so these two it initiatives of uh, road transport and highway ministry now they are added to PFMS, the Bhumi Rashi and the um, uh, the Bitter Information Management System. It will be used by all the project implementation agencies of the ministry for maintenance of technical information for civil works of uh, contractors and uh, connoisseurs, concessioners and uh, online technical evaluation of civil works bid. So on this system they can analyze everything. So things are digitized and on, on the online platform. There is a CPPP Central Public Procurement Portal. So this BIMS will uh, work in conjunction with CPPP. That's that is important for the bidding process and all these uh, uh, leasing and all in the highways area because this uh, buoy portal it is having the data till the village level because villages are important when they are going to uh, uh, procure the land and for the uh, land acquisition these, these kind of portals are uh, a great uh, tool for help. So Bhumi Rashi portal has been instrumental in reducing the time taken for approval and publication of notifications and pertaining to land acquisition. Everything is available on the portal. And PFMS, as I told you, this integration is extremely important because this is managing the funds about the uh, these uh, schemes, which are central sector schemes, uh, central uh, uh, sponsored schemes and all. So PFMS is taking care of all. And Bhumi Rashi and PFMS and the uh, BIMS portal, they all are integrated now. They may ask you a very important question about it. So these, this is all for now and uh, PDF you will get on this particular uh, group and on the Telegram channel. And thanks a lot. Keep watching. It was Amit Sani. Thanks a lot.